Hello and welcome to the GT4 Fixed series. Here on iRacing, we are at Sakuba, and I'm driving the Mercedes here today. Um, I think this might be the first recording I've done of this car. Um, I might be wrong. There might have been like one other race I did. I'm trying to remember. Did I do a Fuji race? I might have done Fuji race. Either way, um, still brand new to this car overall. I, of course, bought it for K5 Championship Season 2, which I haven't been recording because it takes so much focus <laughs> being in a brand new car, and we are on very tough rovals, and um, after I lost my recording, partway through the first race, which was very demor demoralizing and uh, just not feeling too well for race two, I kind of came to the conclusion that uh, I was not doing my best while having to report at the same time at those very tough tracks and uh, it was important to me that I be a safe and competent driver but <laughs> above actually uh, uploading videos about it. So. I chose to just go ahead and race those league races without recording, and you'll even notice now. Kinda having to focus a little bit. But I've done enough practice and uh, feeling a little bit better in this car with a little more experience by now. And very importantly, Sakuba is a track I'm very, very familiar with, so that also helps a ton. So I thought I'd record one of these races. I'm not very good yet in this car. I'm certainly not living up to uh, the car number two in here. Um, I do not expect to finish anywhere near that. But I think I can at least uh, keep this thing under control for the most part. And uh, maybe that'll be enough to get ourselves a solid finish. P4, your last lap time was at... Got lap number one in there. It seems like I could definitely be more aggressive with throttle. I'm being very timid on it uh, a lot of the time on exits because I'm afraid of breaking loose. But if I uh, get a little bit better with it, get more comfortable in this car, I might be able to get a little more out of it. For now, not wrecking sounds pretty good to me too. So, I'm not gonna overdo anything. Looks like uh, lap two is going pretty well right now compared to my all time optimal. Let's see if we can get a good run to the line. Alright, that's an all-time best. Still not going to be too good compared to the fastest guys. Fastest guys I saw in practice were in the 57s. And it uh, looks like that is also the case here. So we're about a second off the fastest guy. But that's okay. It'll be worse. We are right now P6. We'll see um, how many people have actually qualified. So we've moved to P7. I didn't realize how big these races are. Look, we got 27 people in here. That's pretty cool. And uh, there are, of course, different types of cars in here. So you've got, you know, the Mercedes like I have here. You've got BMWs. You've got uh, the McLarens. We've got the Porsche, and uh, what else? There's a couple other ones, too, that uh, I'm blinking on, because I'm still very new to this series, and I'm trying to talk and also be informative at the same time. Waiting on the 12. That's it. Wow. Well, apparently people in this place, uh, or in this series, are really good about getting readied up, because we're ready to go. Only 15 minutes. That's not too long. That's also pretty interesting. One left to green. Oh, we're going to be going real quick with the short pace left here. I got to be ready. 
So there's another one that's uh, in the series, the Aston Martin. So uh, they all drive just a tiny bit differently. It's not like manufacturers and NASCAR where they're more just like body shapes that are uh, pretty much all exactly the same at the end of the day. These uh, are actually a little bit different. They've got slightly different characteristics. They all drive a little different, but all supposed to be right around the same speed, theoretically, though it can depend on what track you're at. So that's uh, pretty interesting. The only time I've really done something similar to that would be the touring car challenge, where they had different cars. And then uh, there was multi-class racing, of course, and the production car challenge I've done in the past. But you're not actually racing against those people. Um, quite the same for position. You're racing the people in your own class. This is different because you're racing for the win overall. No uh, different classes here. We got different cars, but we're all fighting for the same glory, I guess. Let's hope that it's uh, a good, clean race. We'll see. I, I'm not too familiar with how these races usually look. I don't know if there's reputations like, oh, the GT4 series. That series is crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm new to this, so maybe it's known as a very clean series. That would be cool. Hopefully we get rolling. Okay. We are thankfully caught up. Okay, hey, Tyre, you off. Be ready. The tires are gonna be cold, so we're gonna have to be careful not to break loose or anything. Early on here. Now we got spinners behind. That's gonna give me some space. I like that. That's good news for me. Don't run into the back of anybody. Don't loop it. That guy got real loose. I'm just trying to be smooth right now. Not trying to get too much like that guy. Go left. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Go left. Okay, that guy's going off. Right side. Oh. Stay on the left. Oh, I had to dodge that car and this guy almost got into me. Stay on the left. Clear. Wanted to gas it up, maybe try a crossover, but this car's still feeling a little bit too light for that. V6. Right side. You do Clear. not belong there. That behind being pretty aggressive. All right. Thankfully, we're okay so far. There's been some dangerous spots, but we have made it. So, we are P6 at the moment. I think, unless uh, that still needs to be changed a bit. Head overdrives it just a bit. Pulls it back though. Really got to remain disciplined and not get on the throttle too hard because it will snap on you. First here. 
Let my drive off. Just pretty similar speed to the guy uh, in front of and the guy behind me at the moment. Fastest lap for Falcon 57 two seven. There's a car exiting the pits. Heads up. You got it, boy. Car. Oh, exiting the pits. That's scary. Very dangerous pit exit here. No idea where he's going. That was not very well done by him. Scared the guy behind us quite a bit though, and so we got some room. Okay, feeling alright, feeling alright. Car's coming to me a little bit. A little more grip, I can be a little bit more brave. On throttle, for example. Guy head still is faster than me, I think. I think the guy behind perhaps as well. I might try to find some more speed out of it here. Pretty good there, just pushed a little bit too hard. Really gotta work the wheel. We found uh, some guys around our speed though, that's kinda cool. It's always nice, you got someone to race. I'm really bad through there. I've always been kind of bad through that corner, though. No matter what track it is, or whatever car it is, anyway. It's always Sakuba. <laughs> I'm not getting it turned at all. It did not turn out there like I wanted it to. Okay, getting into the rhythm a little bit more. Trying to be more brave with the throttle because it does help it turn if you use it correctly. Mm. Still not great there though. Wow, he majorly undergrew that. Okay, mate, watch for a mistake. Your lap time was 58.21. Hmm, I'm not turning. I missed the exit a little bit. Somebody says, great job, there must have been an accident. Get through there, much better. It's not going to help me too much, though, because I'm terrible through here. Slow in, fast out. Keep the inside line covered. Ooh, this is tough. Scare him a little, maybe. Didn't work. Mm, loose on exit. I scared the guy behind in the wrong way. Look down, shifting into that corner. Going from fourth to first gear real quick. Pushing harder and being a little bit faster, but it's potentially going to lead to more mistakes, so I've got to be really careful. It's 
way slow through this final corner. I have been having some serious trouble with the exit of turn one the past couple of laps. Might need to let this car roll a little bit more. That felt pretty good there when I let it roll more than I have been. It's always real tough to pass, at least for me here at Sakuba. That is uh, holding true here for now. Hey, that was a good exit for once. I behind missed that. I think he might have almost hit me. Car stop on the left. Car stop on the left. Car stop on the left. Car stop. What am I coming around to? Okay, that was very concerning. I think those are both lap cars. Unfortunately, I don't think that's actually going to help me. So still P6. I didn't even mean to do that. What the hell is this guy doing? That was some very aggressive driving. I wasn't even trying to get to his side there, but then this guy sends it in from a year back. That's kind of annoying. Someone teach me how to do this corner. Trying to figure out what other guys are doing. Four minutes left or so. Six again, trying to send it up the inside on turn one. That seems to be his signature move. I am just absolutely terrible in that corner. I think you want to keep it in second gear. I keep switching back and forth, and second gear I think is better, but even when I do that, I'm still not doing... going very quickly, so... Okay, Jesus. If this thing wants to actually grip at any point. The gap behind is now 0.8. Sectors 1 and 2 are 0.7. Guy behind majorly overdrove that. Well, now I'm not even catching up or keeping up with these two guys, so let me make sure I uh, pull it together here. Try to get some solid laps. Get back into the rhythm. Shifted to first, forgetting for a second.
Maybe these two will uh, fight for position here. There goes six and a signature move. Get tight on exit. Ooh, almost a rear ending, maybe. Went too wide there. We're in that whole corner. Just some clearly like uh, rookie mistakes. I've just got some in inconsistency that I could clean up. Really coming through in my driving. Lap traffic coming up. Kind of hit it that time. I just have to be more aggressive on throttle, it seems like. Which is really scary. But that's where I'm losing some time, it looks like. Can we get anything more? Do we want to even try? Will this lap traffic be a problem? So many un unanswered questions and it's already the last lap. <laughs> And we got a takeout. That's pretty crummy. That's pretty crummy. Henry is now leading. Oh, I tried. Tried to get there, but we get P6. After uh, getting one last spot at the end there from someone killing someone else. <laughs> and uh, I'll take it. You know, there's a lot of people out here. So even though it's a uh, 1.5 and I'm the number two, I'll take it. Sucks for uh, Larry there. We were able to race him the whole time, never run into him. The last guy just decides... Uh, yeah, he just kills him. It's getting too aggressive in the last lap. So, here are our tires. They do seem to wear a little bit. Did seem like we lost some grip over time. Something to consider in this car. So, 6th place up 27. And what I presume is the top split. Excuse me. Although I don't know that for sure. But, uh, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. We move forward. After an 8th place starting spot. So. Feeling pretty good. And 0x. Which some people cannot say they should, they were able to do. Alright. Kind of surprised. Or wait, is that the same guy? No, it's not. I confused Davier with some guy named Daniel, I think. So those were two different people, but... Hmm. Yeah, like, what did he get? Two. Two X, I guess it was just the one thing. But ran into the guy at the end. Let's see what else happened out here in the incidents. Thankfully, I was able to avoid being part of any of it. So, let's rewind, make sure we're getting everything. Weird starts here because of uh, the... Rolling slash standing start.
Someone gets loose and crashes before they even get to the start finish line. That is race over. And uh, they actually undid the part of the lap they did do right there. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Oh boy. We've got lap one, turn one mess. Where does it start? Starts right here. So I think the uh, 27 is just out a little bit wide. Causes them to get it spinning. And then we've got more happening independent of this. It looks like the 13. There's no room there. He's driving it in there like there is, but there's no room there. And takes out two people, and of course he gets away with it. So, just plowing through some people. Very bad driving from uh, whoever that is. Fortunately, 10's in the wrong spot for it. We've got even more piling up. We've got a bit of a track blocker. Especially because he just decides to roll into the racing line. Another questionable decision through all this. And then we've got just a stack of cars. This looks like... Uh, Some of the K5 Championship at the Roval, we had some stack-ups on one of the Rovals. <laughs> it's kind of looking like that. Uh, so there's more and more stuff happening, and that's only lap one. Yikes. So the A, looping it on cold tires. We have to dodge this, I remember. That's right. That's the only reason that uh, the 17 got in front of us in the first place. I might have been able to potentially drive away from him had this not happened. I don't know. Um, I have to get on the brakes pretty good and dodge him. The guy that's sideways. And uh, that just sucks. I mean, I tried my best. I mean, I did everything I could to dodge, but also give him a little room over there. And you know what? Actually, he didn't quite pass me yet. It wasn't until right here where he gets on my inside, so... Kind of a chain reaction, but... V8 waiting. Good on him for not uh, just pulling out in front of traffic. 27 getting loose, spinning. Car's still full of fuel and still got colder tires, and I think he might have lost a spoiler at some point. <laughs> I think there might have been a spoiler there at one point, so that might might not have helped either. Uh, seven trying to get a nose under on exit, it does not get there, and so it just ends up turning the 11. Ooh, that was weird. The 25 kind of like breaks to the side, like he shifted one time too many by accident. Kind of breaks to the right on him, and uh, there's a car there. 14's going for a ride, entered too hard. It almost felt like I was headed that way a time or two, just because when you enter a little too wide, it really just does not grip up for, for you too well. Mm. I think that... What, Jasper? My cat's yelling at me. <laughs> Um, yeah, the 7, I think, was mad at this guy for that, but you didn't give him a lane. The runoff does not count as a lane. So if he's on, if you got someone on your outside there, you've got to get a lane on the actual track. That's not enough room for him right there. What, you think you can be a guest commentator hopping up here? All right, Jasper's going to join me, I guess. I'm done racing, so that's fine. He's in my lap now. <laughs> um, so I think 7's got to give a little room right there. So even if he was mad at that guy, I'm not so sure. They all get it going again. So this guy is getting loose and wrecking. He's having a rough time, for sure. He's the guy that went off into the sand a minute ago. We jump ahead to lap nine. That's not too bad. Um, this guy just kind of gets into that guy and corrects him. Well, if you're going to wreck someone, at least be polite and fix it for him. <laughs> I 
Ooh. That was kind of awkward. That just all everyone going all kinds of places. So the 26 overdrives. The 18 tries to take advantage going low. And then the 26 kind of cuts down into him instead of staying on the outside. Yeah, I'm going to call that on the 26. He goes wide and then does not hold the outside line. Okay, thought he was going to pull out in front of that guy or something. Looks like he's getting it done correctly. More trouble for the 14. Oh, no. Ouch, that's a heavy hit, too. That's probably KO for him. That is a blown motor. You're bump drafting, I guess. <laughs> it just runs into the back of him. This is horrible dive. That is way overdriven. Don't really need to be diving into this corner anyway. That is not a good way to pass, I would say. That's just super aggressive. Uses him to pass. I would not be happy if I were the 23. And then is this the final lap where he gets into the guy? No, but he does get into the guy. I do remember seeing that contact, and then uh, again, just comes up and gets him. He just overdrives it, plows into the back of him, and then Larry ends up finning, finishing ninth here. So we benefit from it, but oh, really, what do we make it passes that way? Oh, excuse me. And that'll do it. So. I'm happy with that. We get ourselves a P6, having little experience in this car. Um, you know, maybe could have competed with the 6 on speed. It was pretty close. Uh, we had a good battle uh, between 6 and the 17 and ourselves. It's pretty tough to pass here overall. And I wasn't looking to dive it in on anybody. I just prefer not to do that. So... Um, yeah, I'll take it. Clean race, too. We uh, kept it 0x, so I'm happy. We'll lose uh, maybe two eye reading, but that's just fine. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.